Hello everyone and welcome back to today's tutorial. Today I will show you how to convert or transform an nested XML file to a pandas data frame. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also write your comment in the comment section of this video tutorial. Let's go on. First, uh, understand the structure of your XML data. Here is the sample data and uh, understand the root element and the nested elements of the data. The root element of this XML data is uh, data and the nested element is uh, record. Inside the record, there is uh, an, another nested element, name and age. So uh, in this tutorial, my uh, target is going to extract the name uh, the text of the name element and age and also uh, address. Address also has another uh, nested element, the city and the state. So uh, this is unstructured, completely unstructured and uh, nested XML data. So uh, the objective of this uh, tutorial is going to teach you how you can transform such kind of uh, unstructured XML uh, data into structured and user-friendly data frames. Okay, as a data scientist or data engineer, you are required to transform or extract required or useful information from unstructured or semi-structured uh, uh, data or sources, okay? Let's go. First, you have to import the XML code E3 which is uh, an elementary module, which is uh, a default library in Jupyter Notebook and at AT. And also import the pandas, pandas help us to uh, create structured or user-friendly tabular data. Okay. The next step is going to uh, parse the, the XML file and locate the XML file in the same directory where the code is uh, located. That is uh, based to easily detect the parts of the file. Uh, otherwise, you have to specify the parts of the file if they are in separate uh, directories, okay? To parse, the XML file. You can use AT, which is elementary parsing method, and it has a specified the name of the file data. For example, in my case, I just saved the XML file in data.xml file name. And you can change to your own file name, it doesn't matter. But you have to clearly specify the parts of the file. But in my case, I just look at uh, the file in the same directory or where the code is located or saved. Okay. Now let's uh, obtain the root element. Three dots get root. Uh, in this case, the root element is data. So going to extract root elements from this XML data uh, first. Uh, then let's see the root is uh, exactly obtained or uh, uh, yeah, the data element or the root element is uh, obtained and it is located at a memory location of this, okay? This is called a generator that generates all data, all data that because the data is already parsed and stored in the memory location of this one as a root element here because here we have parsed the data and located in the uh, variable tree. Uh, the tree variable is already saved in the memory, in the computer memory. And uh, so we are trying to obtain the root element from that memory. All the data is under the root element and this is called a generator. Already we have created a generator uh, by parsing the XML data. Okay, let's go. The next step is uh, let's initialize 
anonymity list that going to store the data. Can define anonymity list. And we're going to define uh, a recursive function to parse the XML tree because we need to define an immediate, I mean, uh, the function that going to call itself and obtain the required uh, elements from this uh, root uh, element. This define function. Okay, let's call it parse element and pass the element and the item which is uh, obtained from that uh, of, uh, element, okay? And if the link of the element is zero, for example, there is no sub element in the root element. For example, here we have uh, a recurrent element. We have two ele recurrent elements. And in each recurrent element, there are different elements. So we are going to obtain uh, this uh, text in the nested elements. So if there is no uh, elements in the uh, root element, which is, which is emitting, uh, we are going to obtain item at index element tag. We just get the tag name from that element and assign the element to the text. We obtain the text name from that element, okay? Otherwise, uh, but in my case, there are uh, more than one uh, sub elements record, record the same name and it's going to iteratively obtain uh, the elements from this uh, root element, okay? Which is the sub element. For every uh, child, we call it a child, and we list that element. And from that sub element, we, we, we're going to, uh, because we iterate each element in the, record the element in the root element, and we're going to obtain the childish of the record because child is the last element in the parent. So the, the parent of name is record. The record, uh, the parent of record is data, which is a root element. And the sub element of a root element is a record. So we are going to iterate each record and go, uh, obtain the text of the child, okay? That's why we call it uh, the uh, iterate its child in the uh, record element. And we call the, the recursive function element, and we pass the child as an element here and the item. Okay. Now we just finished this and we're going to uh, iterate through the XML tree and parse the elements. Okay, for every child in the roots, uh, we just define an anonymity dictionary going to store each uh, child element in the record element, name, age, and going to obtain text of each child element as an item, okay? So we call the function parse element. We pass the child and an item. The child is the, the element and the item is the text which is obtained from that child uh, element. 
And here, initially, I have defined an emity list to store the data, which is parsed here. And here, I call, I append each item in this uh, data. Okay. Now let's check the data, which is uh, extracted from or parsed from this XML data. Now, uh, the name as a dictionary key, transform it, name uh, tag, which is a child element in the record. And I typically obtained all the child elements, including the items from this record uh, element. Okay, that's good. And we are going to uh, transform this uh, into panda. Uh, PD dot data frame and we pass data. Now let's uh, call the DF to see the output. So this uh, loop is exactly what we want, and it is transformed uh, into this tabular format uh, using this Python code and elementary Python library. So, so make sure to uh, replace your paths, your file paths here actual path to your XML file. Uh, this code will create a data frame. So as you can see, it just converted and transformed into uh, user friendly tabular formats. Uh, and uh, where each row represents a node in the XML tree, depending on the complexity of your XML structure, you might need to adapt the parsing logic accordingly. So this is uh, uh, a tutorial and you can uh, adapt these logics to uh, transform quite complex XML data. If you have any concerns or questions, you can ask me, you can write in the comment section of this video tutorial. I hope this video tutorial is useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.